Hey guys, what's happening? So, I made a previous video um, of my Corsair power supply burning cables. Um, so, I thought I'd show you how to repin a Molex connector. And it's pretty much the same connector they use in pretty much every ATX power supply. You know, for a 6 pin or 8 pin. I use the power supply, like the 24 pin. Um, so, my problem is, I'm actually burning uh, on my Corsair power supply, I'm actually burning cables. Like, they use the wrong size gauge for the cable. So I have some existing uh, six pin that actually have a heavier gauge uh, wire. So I'm hoping I'm not going to burn these cables. So, but I got to repin these for Corsair. So I got to pull out the connectors and rearrange the wires. But let me show you that real fast. So on my power supply, it actually uses a Corsair Type 4. There's a pretty good uh, pinout diagram that I can actually use to repin it. But let me show you. I cut this whole thing on Amazon, I'll put a link down below. But basically it's a 73 picks kit for every single connector you can possibly get and it's under 10 bucks. It's pretty incredible. Because I actually used to buy the individual tools a long time ago, but they were expensive, you know, 10, 15 dollars, you know. So hopefully I can find one to for the Molex in here. There's a ton of cables to go through. But hopefully I'll never have to buy cables again or, or uh, connector release tools. Yeah, all kinds of different sizes and yeah, pretty cool. So now this is just a basically a, a duplicate. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'll take it apart. All right. All right so yeah, it looks like it's uh they just gave you duplicates. They call it 73 p so it's sort of deceptive. You know the uh, thing. It looks like I there's like three different identical things and then two of these. But what I need is a, a long flat connector like that to get into the side of the connector and I'll show you that here in a second but so yeah it looks like it's just duplicates and then you have two of these so it's kind of odd but I don't see like a specific Molex connector tool so the flat you just need something long and flat to get in the side all right let me show you how this thing works real fast so you would think that you'd want this flat or this sharp tool that can get in there but the problem with that sharp edge it's not going to hit the tab so I think this is the best tool to get it. I've already done a couple. Yeah, at least, well actually, let me show you how this works. So inside that little thing right there, there's these little locks right here. And so what you're doing is you're, you're pushing down on the lock and you're trying to bend the lock in. So normally the, the locks are like that, they're opened up. So you're bending the, the tabs in so you can pull it out the back. So you just gotta get in there. It's kind of a headache, but you gotta move around. Get it in the, in the side, like that. I hope you can see that. And you just got to get in there. And you'll feel it kind of pop. Go back and forth. Definitely a headache. This is not the easiest connector to deal with, but... Get in there. Yeah, it takes a lot. You might have to do this a couple times. It's definitely a headache. Yeah, see, I didn't get them popped. Well, it's definitely not easy. I mean, I didn't even get this one on camera. It took me a couple seconds, but you'll feel it pop. But it's this actually is, is a very difficult connector to remove the uh, the pins out of. So I'm gonna keep on going, and then I'm gonna repin it. Then I'll show you how to bring back the the pin so you can reuse it. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but the little tab right here. I'm gonna use my little Exacto knife. I'm gonna bring that little tab out again, so I can reuse the connector. There's one on each side. And that's the lock. That's what you, so those locks right there, that's what you're trying to unlock. So when you push the pin down the side, it pushes that little lock in, and that's what allows you to pull it back out. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna show you how to lock one of these back in, and that's it. Alright. See, that's locked back in. I can't pull it. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Yeah, definitely not easy. Um, yeah, I've definitely messed with connectors a lot easier than this. But, alright, gotta do what you gotta do.